So with our new combined licensing module, we do have two search buttons here. We have both a search and new applicant search. And the first search button behaves just the way it always has, that it will respect all of the search criteria that you enter. So if I search for Wade Wilson EMT, I find Wade Wilson EMT. If I search for Wade Wilson Advanced EMT, no results. However, the new applicant search is going to disregard any of the license specific information that we plug in, that being the profession, license type, license number, and license status fields, and just search for any of the person information. In this instance, Wade Wilson. So if I hit new applicant search, it will ignore the fact that I'm looking, that I've said I'm looking for advanced EMT and just look for any Wade Wilson record at all. And that will include Wade Wilson EMT, and if there were any other Wade Wilsons with no license whatsoever, it would show those as well, and then give us the opportunity to create a new application. Which would give me the button after selecting that record right here next to the new person button. So the record I'm actually going to create today is Flint Marco. I hit search, there's no AEMT record. Hit new applicant search, there's no Flint Marco in the system at all. So I will just hit my new person button here. I'll populate the first name and last name with the search criteria that I used. And then we can enter in all the other information that we have uh, for this record like Social Security, date of birth, and ethnicity. But I am actually going to skip date of birth and ethnicity for now because I want to show you the error messages that will appear later forcing us to enter that information. So now we have saved our new person record. And then from there, once we have that created, we will hit new application. Create an application for EMT. And then enter in our address. Now we have our new license application. So the first thing we'll do now is go to the requirements panel and take care of our checklist items. Works the same as it always has. Mark them completed. We have our make a complete button, which will then prompt all these error messages for things that we haven't done yet, like date of birth and ethnicity and our background check information. So we'll hit the back button here. And just a reminder, never ever use the back arrow in your browser. That will cause unending problems. So we'll enter our background check by opening up that panel. And just enter in some dummy information that doesn't have any basis in reality. And we'll go up into our person information with this panel here so that we can enter date of birth and ethnicity. In the case of no ethnicity value, just like choose not to identify. And that will satisfy the database rule. We will no longer see that error message. Now when we hit make complete, that button will now read make incomplete in case we have to roll it back for any reason. And after we hit the back button, we get our approve button, which was not there before, only appears after you have made the checklist complete. 
auto populates our issue date, effective date, and generates our expiration date based on that information. Hit save, and there we go. Shows us our new license number, and when we hit OK, it will return us to that page with our active EMT license.